Listen, I gotta ask you a question. How long have you been here in Brunswick? Uh, I was born here. Yeah. But I've, now I've just been here a few days. I've been here two days. So uh, how come you escaped? But uh, well, what's your name? You, John Bostich. But so, uh, why did you escape? Did I leave New Brunswick? Yeah. Um, I left New Brunswick because I was expelled from university at UNB, and I had been accepted to go to McGill. So I went to McGill to start my master's degree, and at the same time I, I was supporting a lawsuit against the University of New Brunswick administration, which had locked out the student union and taken over the student union building. Illegally, of course. I hear you speak, and uh, you could start a revolution if you wanted to. I, I do want to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, 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 know, you have the words, uh, yeah, the, word, the right words come out. Well, uh, that's because the right thoughts are in there. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you don't think it, you can't do it. So you have to think it, you have to believe it, and you have to know how to make other people believe it and that means uh, that means when somebody says the Irvings are always going to be in charge here you cannot sit in the room you cannot sit in the same room and, and say mm, he's probably right you have to say no the Irvings are not always going to be in charge here because until you think it you can't do it so you were you were in Russia uh, no I, I've been in Russia been yes. in Russia Iceland yeah. Iceland I've been in Iceland and, uh, I've been, been, all, uh, over I've been all over the place. So yeah. what's the problem here in New Brunswick, the way you see it? Oh no, New Brunswick is uh, unfortunately uh, one of the worst examples worldwide. Worldwide? Worldwide. Of oligarchy, in other words, the ruler of a tiny, unrepresentative, unelected, self-appointed, corrupt elite that, that, that exists on Earth. And uh, that's the uh, international figures, UN figures. Third world, third world. World, compared to third world country, in any third world country where you're going to go, you're going to find two or three at least leading oligarchs who share the power. In New Brunswick, you've got one, Irving. That's it. Everybody else is a bit player. Irving calls the shots. Irving orders the shots. Irving enforces their uh, delivery and their and their uh, and their completion. Irving runs New Brunswick. How long are you going to stay here? You? I stay here. A couple of days. A couple of days. And just touch base with some of the people who are activists here and see if I can coordinate and help. Nobody the asked you to join the stage. Uh, well, here, uh, here they ended the they ended the meeting before I had a chance to speak. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were you were ready to uh, pay or uh, yeah. pay the rent? Oh, well, listen, listen. Um, unfortunately, the the organizer who closed the meeting appeared to be afraid of what was going to be said. <laughs> And when your own activists are afraid of what's going to be said, that's a serious problem. It's time to it's time to put more audacious people at the top. You know, uh, during during uh, during a, a conflict in which your jobs are threatened, your livelihood is threatened, you can't have mealy mouthed wimpy people fighting for you. If you want to fight. I mean, honestly, straightforwardly and openly, you want to have somebody who knows how to fight, not who knows how to surrender. Right? That's who you pick. So what's going to happen here? Shell gas, forestry act, Irving monopoly. Look, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try and come more frequently to New Brunswick because uh, I can't believe it, but the situation here is worse than it was when I was here. And that's incredible. Yeah. It, it's incredible. That's contrary to the world wide trend. I was away as well. All away, all around the entire world, things are getting marginally better. Marginal. Do you know it's getting massively worse? Do here. you know everybody believes that everybody reads their own their own little Facebook? What's that? Did you know that most New Brunswickers believe that most other people read their Facebook? They're all they're all important in their own little mind. Well, I mean, if you say something that's important, people will read it. But I, I don't know. I don't really know what the debate is here on many issues. I'm going to try and bring myself up to speed and uh, try and contribute. How come we don't have a guy like that around here? 
You know this guy? He's over our height threshold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna, how come you weren't asked to join in the tour? Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm expecting that uh, I'll be able to help them. I don't live here now. I mean, I'm very yeah, seldom but here, but, uh, but I... You got away with words. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, both my parents were activists and uh, they taught me and, and they, were, they were very much a part of the system. They were both educators, but they also opened their mouth when they saw something that they didn't like. As they, taught, as they taught me to do. Was your parents Scottish? <laughs> no, but... Uh, no? No, but no, no. I understand. I understand Scots. And me, me, mother was from Glasgow, Scotland. Right, right. I'm half Scottish. I'm half Scottish. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry, LeBlanc, Charles. Charles. Charles LeBlanc. I'm, I'm a blogger. Oh, right, right. I'm a blogger. I'm, right. I'm, 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 yeah, uh, I think I've heard about you from my friend Andre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We just go around, and I just, uh, I, I, I always wanted to meet you. And uh, yeah. how come this guy wasn't asked to join the tour? How come this guy wasn't asked to join the tour? I gotta ask. You know no, I mean? no, <laughs> hey, Mark, how come this guy wasn't asked to join to join the tour? No, I'm not. A, I'm just uh, focused on the on the issues of the ecology and so on. I mean, I'm, I'm very much involved in that, but you got a way. You got a way with words. That this guy, this guy has a way in court. <laughs> this you 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 have a way. The court also, but also a, a way a way with words. Well, uh, I mean, I have I have so many simultaneous battles. I mean. Court now in Japan, in New York, in Serbia, in Russia, and perhaps some cases that I don't know about. And I'm advising all the lawyers on all the cases simultaneously over the net and over the Wi-Fi and whatever. We got no lawyers here. Uh, well, we should have lawyers here. And if you don't have any lawyers here, there's a fine example right there. This man is going to become a lawyer, right? He's going to become a lawyer. But what's going to happen? He's going to reproduce, and then he's going to be part, forced to be part of the system. No, he if he wants no, to survive, he doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. For example, the Green Party should finance five of its members to go to law school. Take five retirees who have taken early retirement at age 55 and pay their law school as a party. So you've got five lawyers who work for free. Then you can sue anybody you want for as long as you want. That's a, that's a, well, whatever it is. I mean, that's a logical thing to do. You've got these retirees who, if they had the legal skills, I mean, pick people who are legally oriented and, and pay for the school. Send them up to UNB Law School, and and they'll do it on their free time. They're, they're retired. They don't may perhaps have have a full full time occupation now or activity. Send them up there. Even need three. Three is fine. Just three lawyers who work for free fighting Irving. You're gonna come. You're gonna come here in New Brunswick once hey, every hey, a year, every I, ten I, years. I uh, no, no, no. I, I try to come every. Uh, every Can you announce that you're coming? <laughs> and, and, and this is my chance this time. I was just yeah, traveling. Okay. I had a case to do in New York and. Uh, and I, and, I, and I had the pleasure of coming home here, and, uh, and so I'm here. Um, the, the hey, Charles, the Charles, 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 Charles. Yeah, you heard the presentation. The corruption's worse here than the corruption in Syria. I've been there. I, I know. The corruption here is worse, by far. It's infinitely worse, because it's, it's reached a level here where people don't actually recognize what the corruption is. How come this guy is not invited on your tour? No, there's, there's no, I'm not, I'm not here normally. Please. How come this guy, this is the... You know? John Boston. John? He, he talks, he talks more than you. You know, he's very wise with his words. Uh, well, I mean, when the, fellow, when the fellow was at the microphone from the People's Alliance Party, and he said Irving's always going to be here, I couldn't be quiet. That's not true. Irving wasn't here before Casey, and Irving, yeah. and Irving will not be here in the way that they are after the people in New Brunswick say we'd like to have a democratic society and we'd like to run our province ourselves. They can participate like any other competing company. They can't run it single-handedly, right? Because people won't, won't put up with it. You listen to this tonight. Are you surprised the media is not covering? I'm not surprised. The media is, listen, it, 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 you know, they were talking about the CBC doing what they can. Well, even that's not true. When we were being forced out and locked out at UNB, the UNB administration went and got Armand Paul from CBC to come in and help take over the radio station. The student radio station was shut down and locked out by Armand Paul, the famous CBC man. So they're all in collusion. Lock, stock, and barrel. All. Nice to meet you. Yeah, my pleasure. Give me